What's up everybody, welcome back to Falcon Blues TV, it's your boy Sacha and back for an instant match reaction as Everton traveled to Portman Road to take on Ipswich Town. Um, should have been there, but British Airways man, soft twats, raised the price from 1100 to 4000 to 6000 to 13000 unbelievable. Would have seen the first away win of the season, but unfortunately I'm stuck on me couch, cheering on, clapping the telly like a wanker. And here we are, 2-0. Anyways, into the lineup. Kino's in. Um, Mangala gets dropped for uh, Ghana, which I didn't agree with, but Ghana played very well. And other than that, unchanged. First half, a little shaky. Uh, they had a couple chances. Uh, the chance where we high-pressed and did fuck all, and uh, Jack Clark just skied it, thank God. Because that could have been a match changer. And then their Penno, which was never a Penno, because we didn't get a Penno, which was actually a foul when Dan Byrne clipped DCL. So, no credit to Michael Oliver, because fuck that, that's never a foul. Thank God he saw the light. But other than that, Ipswich offered pretty much nothing. They had, like, no chances on target until, like, the 80th minute. And we, Illy, best, he's our best player by far. Um, good goal. Their defense is dreadful. I thought we had a bad back line. Their defense is uh, League 2 quality level. Um, but Illy makes it 1-0. DCL had like three one-on-ones, man. I don't... This guy's got to go. He's Timu Erling Holland. It's as simple as that, man. This guy's fucking shit. He just can't score. He just hits it straight at the keeper. Uh, and the keeper's not even that good. <laughs> So, uh, he's, he's fucking dreadful. Uh, but other than that, I think we played pretty decent, you know? And then Kino scores a banger. Weak foot. Give a lot of credit to McNeil. McNeil did well there in controlling the ball between three people and a little clever pass, and Kino just has a go. And, man, he might be our best finisher because what a fucking hit, son. 2-0. Um, and then uh, I cashed out my bet on DraftKings because I know 2-0. I don't know what that means for us, uh, Villa, <laughs> flashbacks, but credit to the boys, uh, Deich made, like, no subs, just Mangala for our best player, which makes no sense, but whatever, um, and we held on for a clean sheet, first away win of the season, should have been in the away end with the fellas, unlucky, um, but my best, I thought the back line played pretty well, I thought Ashley Young actually did decent, Miko played very well. Uh, Dekure, I can't stand him on the ball. He's like the dude at pickup that uh, yells at you and then takes 10 minutes to make a fucking simple pass. So, uh, take that with, with, as you may. And Jack didn't play poorly. DCL, I already commented on that. McNeil played very well. Illy played very well. Those are my two best players today. Um, and yeah, best move of the match was when Ghana had a little dummy on the corner, at the counter, and then played a good ball in a DCL who fucked it up, but whatever. Anyways, I'll take the three points. 2-0, we play Fulham next week. We got the primetime matchup, as they say. Uh, so I get to actually sleep in. I'll be a little more coherent. Might be at the boozer. We'll see. Anyways, up the fucking toffees. Colin Chong.